and welcome to another video tutorial from computergarguard.com this tutorial will look at how to track payments due this week so what we want to be able to do is we want to highlight a date if it occurs this week and in this scenario it's because a payment is due and we need to be notified of this so that we can make that payment so what I've got is I've got a, a few dates entered on my spreadsheet at the moment Today's date is the 24th of January, I believe, but that's certainly the plan. So the 26th featured here actually occurs this week. So that should be highlighted once we've done our work here. Now what I want to do is I want to select column A. I'm going to select the whole of column A, as will be dates appearing in all the other cells within this column um, at a later date. What I'm going to use is the conditional formatting tool. So on the home tab, I'm going to go for conditional formatting. And I'm going to go for a new rule. Because I actually want to end out writing my own formula here. Rather than somebody very user friendly uh, and useful. But doesn't quite do the job I need right now. Options above. So new rule. And I'm going to choose use a formula to determine which cells to format. And the formula will be an if function. So if it occurs this week, do this. If it doesn't, do that. And to find out if it occurs this week, I'm going to use a function called week num, which will find the week number of the year for a date that I specify. And this date will be cell, let's uh, put a dollar sign in. A one. So A one's got some text in it, but it should still do the job. So I'm putting a dollar sign so it doesn't stray over the columns, keeping the one relative. So I'm referring to the whole column. So if the week number of A one is equal to the week number of the today function. If you're not familiar with a today function it will find out what today's date is from your computer so on this video I'm telling you it's the 24th and that's why hopefully the third date will be highlighted in reality once this setup is always going to work the today function finds out what the date is and then it will compare the week number of the cell by the week number of today's date if they are equal then that obviously occurs this week Okay, I think there's a comma, and I'm just going to put true, false, closing bracket. Let's choose some formatting. Feel like some green. We go, green fill. And let's click on OK. Here we go. So the third date has highlighted itself. So judging by today's date, which is the 24th, control semicolon there then if that appears this week it will show up and here we go the 26th is obviously this week today is also a Tuesday I should mention therefore it has been highlighted hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial hope it helps you out please check out some of our other tips and tutorials at computergargar.com